on the 6 o'clock news. Well, today the new SpaceX Starship briefly achieved liftoff. It's the largest, most powerful rocket ever, and the plan is to one day send it to Mars with a crew. Well, despite the setback, Linda Schmidt is here with what we can still learn from the four-plus-minute flight. Linda? Yeah, well, first of all, it was very exciting to watch, even though it ended up exploding, but the launch was supposed to happen on Monday. It was called off, though, because of a frozen booster valve. So the liftoff was today. Now, it is still being called a huge success for even making it off the ground. SpaceX's new rocket blasted off on its first test flight in Texas. Spectators watching in awe from several miles away, along with Elon Musk, whose company built the largest and most powerful rocket ever. About three minutes into the flight, it appeared something was wrong when the booster failed to separate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is, uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Seconds later, the rocket exploded. <laughs> SpaceX employees cheering because despite the explosion, the first test flight is considered a success. The goal by Elon Musk's company was to send the giant Starship rocket on a trip around the world. There were no people or satellites aboard. It's the largest rocket ever built at over 40 stories, uh, at nearly 40 stories tall. Uh, it has brand new engines that SpaceX has never tried before. The company plans to use the Starship to eventually send people and cargo to the moon and Mars. NASA has reserved a starship for its next manned trip to the moon. The head of NASA congratulating SpaceX in a tweet, looking forward to all that SpaceX learns to the next flight test and beyond. And Elon Musk tweeting, congrats SpaceX team on an exciting test launch of Starship. Learned a lot for the next test launch in a few months. Not only did uh, we see several engines uh, not work properly during the launch, the first stage has 33 engines uh, of its own. Uh, at least three, if not more, uh, shut down or did not fire at liftoff. Now, SpaceX engineers, they are calling the explosion a, quote, unscheduled disassembly. And once they figure out exactly what went wrong here, of course, they will be making changes for future test flights. Steve Becker, over to you.